Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Romance of Three Kingdoms 11, this is Mysterious JG, and um, so far in this recording session, uh, I've already had to cut out uh, me starting the game and it refusing to load, so let's hope that doesn't happen again. Now loading. Every time I see now loading now, I'm going to get nervous that the game has just died. I'll let you know when we got farther than we got before, folks. We haven't quite gotten there yet. Now, um, I just want to say I'm reading all the comments people are making on this video, on these videos, and I appreciate them all. Uh, even the guy was like, who, you said you couldn't get this on computer? I went on the internets and found it in like five minutes. I'm like, thanks, buddy. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, but I haven't gone back and reread the comments to refresh my memory. So if you gave me a really good suggestion and uh, I'm blanking on it and not doing it here, I apologize. Uh, now I'm worried. I want to end this game as quickly as possible. Uh, there's some real life, you know, non interwebs issues, reasons that I want to get this thing over and done with, and uh, um. I'm not going to go into the real life issues now, which make me want this this thing to be completed, you know, somewhat soon. But uh, the in-game issues I can talk about openly, and that those include the fact that Liu Bei is not as young as he used to be, and uh, I don't want him to die before we've reunited China because Liu Shan will take over, and Liu Shan's a dumbass. So. Uh, to that end, let's try and uh, make quick work out of our enemies. Now, uh, one possibility here would be for me to declare war on Wu before we finish off Wei uh, and start attacking Wu now, especially over here in this area. There's all sorts of. I could be setting my districts. Uh, I could remove them from the policy where I do everything and. Uh, I thought I'd set up a district with these cities over here. Did that get lost, or did that is that the video that, that crapped out? And then when I went and replayed, uh, I retook cities and stuff. I didn't then create the district that I had before. I'm I'm starting to think that might have happened. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, District One is now huge. I could certainly take some of these cities out of District One. Yeah, but anyway. Maybe when I've taken over all of Wei, I'll reorganize stuff. But yeah, I mean, I could have, like, these two districts here. They could be... They don't have... Their policy doesn't have to be just produce supplies and, and transport them. They could be ordered to attack Wu. But um, for right now, uh, the Emperor is still a disaster, but no longer on the map, because they don't count Li Bei, apparently. Yeah, but for right now, I think we're going to stick with my plan to destroy Wei outright before we do anything with Wu. If only because if we destroy Wei, Wu will automatically declare war on us, and that way I can retain my tenuous grip on the moral high ground. Meanwhile, there is a battle here somewhere where things are going really poorly for me. It's over here. Yeah, this battle's just not going my way. I think I was trying to actually pull the, pull the F out of here. Cause it's just really sucking. Shuge Liang's unit is here. They're queer. Get used to it. Alright, well, I gotta take care of these guys before they cause me some issues. It's a catapult unit, too. Oh, I'm not even gonna be able to deploy with them in the way there. Shoot. How am I going to get rid of them? I've got no place to knock them to where they're not going to prevent people from deploying. Let's see. You can march guys out of here. We've got tons of... Yeah, we've got a crossbow unit I can march out of here. So let's... And are there any other officers? Yeah, okay, we'll get both of these guys involved, the Emperor and his little sidekick. We'll take uh, the freaking gold with them and all the food. Cool, they can 
march to here and uh, attack this thing. Oh, my shit! And then Zhao Yun can move in there so that it won't fall on its own without these guys having to do more than launch a single shot. Cool, and we can just retreat from this battle as fast as we can, and we won't even feel like big pussies. We even set a fire here to stop them from following us, except for we can't set a fire there. This Pang Day's unit, these guys should be kicking ass, but uh... And in theory they still could be kicking ass. Guanang, he's no Ganang, folks, that's for sure. Maybe I'll just make them stand and fight a little bit. And hope that things will go better for them. Uh, if I can rake these guys into fire, that'd be pretty cool. It's time for you to learn what it's like to be set on fire, you jerks. It'd be pretty cool to actually use... Uh, tactics on these guys. The 100% success rate because it's Shuge motherfucking Leon. Be even cooler if I could make them blunder, but um these ten well they all use well these actually use more than ten well. Those guys are finished anyway. Maybe I shouldn't have moved Shuge Leon over here. Well no, we'll move him over here and he can hopefully not get captured. That would suck. I just can't understand why he can't shoot any of those other guys. It must be a terrain issue. Here in forests. Yeah, that's why. Okay. Well, forget about attacking you for right now. Well, uh... Damn, I don't know what to do with them. We'll keep moving you in the general direction of the city that we're attacking. Oh, the city. Ah, it's Bay High. GFP's got like 20,000 troops. 22,000. Yeah, this is going to be the final one to fall over here, of course. But that's by design. I want to build up, I want to take a bunch of South South cities, build up the military forces, and then while Wu and I are still allied and they can't do anything about it, then kill them. Kill them dead. attack from here because I'm in a boat, motherfucker. We on a boat. Go, go, gadget. Arrows. Go, go, Power Rangers. And I never watched that show. It's a little too old to still be watching those shows when that was popular. But I am familiar with the theme music because, of course, it goes, Go, go, Power Rangers. You might have more than Power Rangers. Search. Juge Leong is here. Wait. I thought Juge Leong was leading that, um. I thought Juge Leong was. Is this Zhang, Zhang Leong is down here? I recruited him at one point, didn't I? Yeah, that's Zhang Liang. Cao Cao's former strategist. Now, that was one comment that I got. Uh, somebody was asking me who Cao Cao's strategist is now that I've. I captured Sima Yi and I hired Zhang Liang. So, um. Let's talk about those monster trucks for a moment, folks. Who. <laughs> Sorry, it's a, it's a joke. Boba the Vulture will, will laugh at that, possibly. But, uh, no, we're gonna find out who the street uh, strategist for this guy is. I don't even know where you look at that. Zhou Tai and Guang Kuang working on the United Ladders. Jun Yu. Okay. So, Jun, there's the answer to your question. Whoever was asked that question, Jun Yu is the lead strategist for uh, the force. Now, I could probably. If I let the computer auto pick my strategist at this point, I believe. 
it would select. Oh, never mind. Zhuge Liang is still. It, it still thinks he's the best. It doesn't care about Zhang Liang. It still thinks that Zhuge Liang is the best. So, who am I to argue with that? Okay. I got a lot of, like, superstar officers up here. Why don't I have that many officers? I just used all of my officers. But the ones that are there are all superstars. Get a superstar. That is what they are. You guys can build any more uh, facilities? No. Nope. This place is probably as built up as it's going to get. With faci facility wise. And of course, it sent out big ass towering. It sent out a bunch of units to attack, which is why its population is so depleted. Yeah. Uh, I was sort of building these places up, but what's the point? They're off the front line now. Now there's exciting combat going on here that I've already done. Uh, what about over here? Wow, a lot of stuff going on here. It's been like two weeks since I've had a chance to play this game, actually. This is about as long as I've gone without playing the game since I started this LP. For, you know, circumstances uh, dictated that I wasn't going to be able to play the game. Spear unit by chance, not your bow unit. Well, you're a good enough bow unit that you could probably use the penetrate tactic and take two damage to both of these guys, so that'd be pretty good. Taishi Tai! Oh, it's Huang Zhang. I'm gonna change your dreams to dreams of death. Oh, are they both gonna counterattack? Yes, they are. They're not gonna do a ton of damage, but. Now here's the Spears unit that I wanted to see. The Britney Spears unit. And they completely failed to do what I wanted, which was knock them into each other, but, you know, what you did. I guess we'll just attack. There's a camp that's out, so, which I think I'm just going to ignore. Well, you know what, I might as well attack it while I'm here. I'm waiting for these fires to go out. So that I can proceed with my conquest of the land. I might die, one of the lesser Ma's. Oh, I think he might be a character in Dynasty Warrior 7. One of the guys that you never really do much with when you play shoe story mode. I think he might be an enemy when you play as Jin, but who cares. Okay, but Tato is nearly destroyed. Ah, uh, yes, Ma Yun, Ma Yun Lu's unit. This, this, this will be fun. I like using the crazy warrior chicks. She is fun, and uh, Zhu Rong is fun in this game, but the really fun, and Guan Yu's daughter is kind of a fun officer, but the really fun officer to use is uh, Lu Bu's daughter, because they make her this kind of crazy, like, cavalry general superpower character, even though, like, in the novel, she just exists as a plot point, because at one point, Lu Bu tries to arrange a marriage. I love the, the chick uh, icon from there, too, or picture. But, uh, yeah, because at one point, uh, he's trying to arrange, uh, like, a, he, he offers his daughter's hand in marriage to, like, Yuan Shu's son, or maybe Yuan Shu offers his son's hand, and, um, Lu Bu rejects it. There's, like, all this flip-flopping, and he's, he, like, he's kind of a ridiculous figure, Lu Bu, but... At one point, there's an effort to cement an alliance to save his ass near the end, uh, with marriage, but, um, he, they can't get his daughter safely out of, uh... White Gate Castle, or whatever it's called. White Castle, you know, where they have the hamburgers. So, um, that's part of why, um... Uh, Mobile Jack, she LP. Yes. 
So yeah, like as a character, she never gets any dialogue or anything. They just mention that they try to, to get her out of the city and form an alliance through marriage, but her carriage is attacked and Lubu kind of dotes on her and, and isn't willing to put her in danger. And it's part of like the book is trying to say that Lubu is a shitty leader because he cares more about his family than other stuff. Whereas it just kind of humanizes him a bit, in my opinion. But hey, that's not the point here. The point here is that his daughter is not really in the novel riding around leading cavalry units and using like extra powerful tactics and stuff, but she is in the game, so. Okay, so now we got uh, Mr. Galagoth and Lu Jun, the two great Wu leaders. Um, are, oh, that's right, because I took the city on the last turn. The last video, I took over the city, and that's why they are now backing off. Because they were hoping to take it. This, this is like the tenuous uh, alliance that Wu and Shu currently, or Shu, I should say, Han. Huh? Han and Wu are supposedly aligned right now, but it's 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 all talk, folks. It's all bullshit. Sun Xuan has not uh, really accepted the Han that the Han is restored. He thinks he probably. I would imagine that their current um, propaganda in Wu right now is that Liu Bei is, an, is a usurper, no better than Cao Cao. Even though I was kind of surprised that it happened, but uh, the Emperor just like sort of begged Liu Bei to take over. And that's that's the story I'm sticking with, folks. There's still some units who haven't moved yet. I don't know who they're referring to, and if I don't find out, we'll never be able to end this turn. We'll all be trapped here forever, folks. Who do they mean? Kind of, uh... Whoa, are you guys coming to attack me? You guys are either coming to attack or you're building something. I use the list of units. But yeah, Sun Xuan has not given given up to us, so, um... Guan Ping? Guan Ping! Guan Ping's unit is still... Hang around somewhere. Guan Ping! I haven't forgotten you, Guan Ping, even if Mr. SJG clearly did. Do you want me to attack Archer Turret, eh? Yeah, but where's Guan Ping? Where? Oh, those are left over from when Wu was away was running the place. I was trying to think. This isn't like I'm used to. If I go back to my own territories, I never build fire embers and stuff. I'm sure that I'll see some now because I've put the the computer in control. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe they figure there's already enough crap from all these towers and stuff. So maybe they're not building em uh, embers. Oh, never mind. There's some embers. Well, those might be left over from when the Maz were running this place. But yeah, I don't know where Guan Ping is. Guan Ping, where are you, Guan Ping? We're worried about you, Guan Ping. <laughs> you haven't been attending our Bible study meetings, Guan Ping. We're worried that you've fallen in with the background. As we study the Bible, even though we're in ancient China. Alright. Uh, I really don't know where Guan Ping's unit is right now. It's kind of bugging me a little bit. Is it even Guan Ping? Is he really the reason that, uh... How do I just, like... Can I jump to them? Rush assault. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. All right. This is like the actual north, south, east, west that I guess I never like to use. It just doesn't. I'm, I'm used to the way the map is laid out. Otherwise, it's got much cooler angles when you're not looking at it this way. But uh, it's it's got him up here somewhere. Possibly traveling from non P to um, Pingyuan, or 
That's hot suey, though. Now I've got... Oh, here he I just... <laughs> uh, sorry, I just completely forgot to make this unit attack. That's all. <laughs> Wait, Jun Yu? Isn't he the, uh... Didn't we establish at some point that he's now the strategist for Cao Cao? Jun Yu. Why you? This is Jun Yu Y O U. Oh, you crazy Chinese and your language that isn't the same as mine. Wacky. Wacky monsters, those Chinese. Sure hope so. <laughs> Not easily offended. Alright. Inspections. Calm the populace, Gan Ning. It's like, hey, I'm a crazy pirate! Arrgh! Come, come. Yeah, and of course they immediately calm down. Now here's, uh... Renan... Zhu Chang... Oh, I should probably check and see if I need to uh, reward people. And I do! Didn't quite kill all my action points, but it uh, sure put hurting on them. Y'all, oh, Doom Screamy, the Empress is. For some reason, not leading a unit. Probably the timing. I sent her off to hire somebody and. While she was gone, I decided to launch a big attack, so sorry about that, Doom Screaming. And you missed out on the action. You've been a very valuable officer, though, with your 100 charisma and sex anus. So, uh, let's see how badly I'm gonna get beaten up over here. Whether or not I'm really gonna regret that I didn't pull those two units out. Jing Yong's intelligence awesomeness. Oh no! That guy's dead. I saw this coming, folks. I had Liu Bei's unit parked in Lin Ji for just a moment. And I took them out of there and took all the gold. So now they're considered officers of that city, and I can't remunerate them. Remunerate? Remunerate? However you say that. Zhuge Liang is almost certainly correct when he says remunerate. But I think it's remunerate. Remunerate. If something isn't done soon, there's going to be a comply unit. <laughs> Yeah, but the thing is, one of the two people in that unit is Liu Bei. I don't see Liu Bei abandoning Liu Bei's forces. The other one, eh. I'll just have to reward him later. Ma Dai's unit has begun to retreat. Taste of terror, there's me. Oh, wow, that really did hurt. Okay, so they took out that unit. And now they're inheriting catapult weapons with their own dudes. I've had two units destroyed here, although the guys involved did not uh, get captured. They retreated, so that's good. But, wow, this ain't going that hard. Definitely need to take these guys out. Uh, Zhang Fei assisting his sworn brother from a boat. We on a boat. These guys are horse units. Let's use horsey settings. Got everyone involved that I possibly can. Take all the food and all the gold. Yes. Liu Bei. There you go. That's what I wanted to see. Like, Lego, hop in there and make sure they don't take over. And, uh... 
wow, I really don't want to lose uh, Pang Day, but uh, I just can't resist the temptation to keep dragging these guys into the fires they're setting on me. about this whole fight over here. They're, they're building fireballs, that's pretty... Alright. It's a crappy bull unit, so wow. Oh, you guys are over here repairing this camp, huh? Gal tying along. Somebody was tricked into retreating, so that's silliness. Oh, this guy must have the range. Ah, nice. Liu Yi has range as a special tactic. Awesome. I don't remember who he was historically, but he must have been famous for like siege weapon stuff, because that's a siege weapon tactic that is very handy. trap on this thing, why the hell not? The brilliant strategist, Ma Li Yun Lu. Oh, this is sweet, I can actually knock this guy into the flames. We shouldn't have built that thing, guys. Zhu Huang is finally you no, that was Sun Wukong. Uh, sorry. Thought I saw Zhu Huang in there. Zhu Huang is now using his uh, powers for good and not for evil, but, uh. Spoken of for hundreds of years. Shouldn't have been hit here. Do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. So let's get rid of that because uh, it will drive us insane. be at 30 minutes. Actually, I'm sure we're not because I had to restart this recording and I'm going to have to cut some stuff out, but um, this will make it easier for me to spot. Yeah, this is a good point in my, in my timer for me to, because I'll be able to figure out when another half an hour has passed. Alright, so that's Guan Lu, which means it's time to end the video. When we come back, folks, we're going to continue 
with the two battles we've got going. I forget the names of the cities we're attacking. I'm sure we're going to take one of them. The other one's going to be a little trickier. we got Pang Day down there trying to fend off the entire Wei army by himself. While, like, Zhang Liang, Liu Bei, Zhang Fei, Guan Ping, and all sorts of other officers are up there fighting a single tower unit and leaving Pang Day down there to do all the work. Hopefully we'll be able to get them down there to support Pang Day, and hopefully Pang Day doesn't get captured. But uh, either way, folks, um, Wei is doing what they've got to try and do, which is concentrate what power they've got left uh, where they think I'm weakest, but it's I think we can all see that it's not going to be enough. When we come back, folks, we'll continue to work towards finishing off Wei, and we'll get ready for the upcoming fight with Wu. Thanks for watching. See you next time.